Hello gorgeous peeps, I'm Chris from Techspert and today we're going to be checking out the Intel NUC 12 Extreme which my cat has just cunningly revealed for you, absolutely planned to the second that was. And as if NUC 12 Extreme wasn't exciting a name enough, it's actually codenamed Dragon Canyon as well. And what it is is a charmingly compact desktop gaming rig or SFF if you're into the whole geek lingo. Which considering you're watching this video, you probably are. This modular unit boasts some beefy specs, including the latest 12th gen Intel Core i7 or i9 processors and support for full-length PCIe 5.0 graphics cards, plus a capable cooling system and a customizable RGB setup to make it all look pretty. Ooh. And it'll be available from mid-March for a price that'll no doubt knock the stuffing out of your savings account. So let's take a look and see if the Intel NUC 12 Extreme is a mini hero or just like myself, somewhat small and disappointing. And for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! So what you've got here is a similar design to Intel's NUC 11 Extreme. The rig offers 8 litres capacity and while it's quite big for a mini PC, it is still impressively dinky considering the setup with space for a full size graphics card. The rig isn't light but it is perfectly possible to stuff this unit into a backpack and carry it if needed. But of course no self-respecting desktop gaming machine would be seen dead without the obligatory RGB shenanigans and of course the NUC 12 Extreme does not disappoint there. Despite its small form factor, you've got lightened strips along the sides and the front end which cast an eerie glow on your desktop, while up front you've also got a backlit logo plate with a charming wee skull fella on it. But this is swappable if you'd rather rock a different design. Up top you've got three mighty fans which help to keep the entire system cool, and meanwhile on the back end of this miniature beast it is a veritable port buffet. You've got a pair of Thunderbolt 4 ports here for hooking up peripherals or displays, as well as display port, HDMI, you've got 10 gigabit as well as 2.5 gig Ethernet ports, you've got a bugger load of USB action, and as if that wasn't all enough, up front you get another USB and a USB-C, plus a memory card slot and a headphone jack. And the whole thing's rounded off with a 650 watt 80 plus gold PSU as well, so it can basically handle anything you chuck at it. And of course, as usual, the Intel NUC 12 Extreme is typically sold as a bare bones kit. So what you do is you choose your CPU from the Intel Core i7-12700 or the Intel Core i9-12900. Then you go ahead and stick in your own dedicated graphics card and memory. And the NUC 12 Extreme has been designed so switching components is as simple as possible. Just unscrew a couple of bits and the whole thing just prizes apart. My review unit came with the Core i9 option fixed with an LGA 1700 socket for improved compatibility. And that's backed here by 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM, although the NUC 12 Extreme does support up to 64 gigs, but it's DDR4, not DDR5. And I've also got Nvidia's Billy Big Bollocks GeForce RTX 3070 slapped in there as well, so no f***ing about, this thing is beefier than a steak pie. And note that while the Dragon Canyon is best served with a PCIe 5.0 GPU, it does play very nicely with the older 3rd and 4th gen cards as well. Now with this setup, I saw some distinctly impressive benchmarking scores. So in CPU-Z, I got a multi-thread result of 10,162.9, Geekbench 5 spaffed out a score of 1734 single-core, and 12889 multi-core. I then ran a bit of 3D mark and I got a result of 6650 in Time Spy Extreme. Port Royal shut out a score of 8201. And the 3D mark stress test, well, I got absolutely crushed by the NUC 12 Extreme with a 99.4% result. So certainly a big step up from the scores for the old NUC 11 Extreme, highly competitive, and the Dragon Canyon remained pleasingly cool throughout even that stress test. I then did a bit of gaming on the Dragon Canyon, because why wouldn't you? And Doom Eternal, unsurprisingly, ran absolutely perfectly. I was really impressed by how fast the game loaded. You're literally talking about a second's wait and then you're straight in there. And on the ultra detailed settings, everything turned up to max. There was not a single judder in that frame rate, certainly nothing that my knackered old peepers noticed. Absolutely silky, smooth, gorgeous experience throughout. So highly recommended for even the most demanding gamers out there. Now for your networking needs, you've got support for Intel's Wi-Fi 6E AX211, absolutely no issues there. Plus you've got two Ethernet ports, as mentioned before, 2.5 gig and 10 gig. As for your headsets, where well, you've got Bluetooth 5.1 support and there is a headphone jack up front as well, so you can get plugged straight in. So that in a nutshell is the Intel NUC 12 Extreme, aka Dragon Canyon. And as you can see, small size, 
but no compromise. This thing has the potential to be one of the beefiest rigs out there, despite the fact it's pretty weedy. And then, you know, a couple of years in the future, you decide you want to slap in another GPU, just whip off the side, rip out the old bits, chuck in some new stuff, assuming we can actually get components in 2024. And job most assuredly done. Unfortunately, I don't know the UK asking price of the Nut 12 Extreme just yet, as I am shooting this video ahead of the launch, but hopefully you should have that info for you down in the video description once it's gone live. And uh, yeah, what do you guys reckon? It'd be great to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Please do pug subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more YouTube guffins on tech stuff. And have yourselves a bloody lovely week. Cheers, everyone. Love you.